All right, we can agree that AI lip sync tools are very important in your AI character generation process. And if you are working with talking characters, you've probably run into the problem that there are so many tools to choose from, all with their own specific expertise. So I've tested and researched all the AI lip syncing tools in the market with the same real human character and 3D character scene and created a complete breakdown based on the lip sync accuracy and realism, the output quality, the cost per minute, the maximum clip length, character consistency, and how smooth the overall workflow feels. Based on this, I've picked the five best tools that I'm going to break down to explain to you which one will fit your process the best. Now I'm starting with picks first, and here's what I generated with both characters. This restaurant has so many dishes. Can you help me to choose one? Just give me two minutes. I need to check some news articles about cryptocurrency. Do you always check the news on your watch during dinner? Only when the world insists on interrupting my meal. I can't believe crypto market is down by average of 20% today. I love playing basketball. It's my favorite sport. And I am also the best player in my school basketball team. By the way, which sport is your favorite? I find the lip syncing a bit static because it mainly focuses on moving the mouth area and not other parts of the face and body. Now in terms of the lips, there is no glitch or unnatural movements within the mouth area, which is good. And this tool is one of the cheapest out there. And if you compare this to free or other cheap tools, then this will be the best option. I chose this tool to be in the list because cost-wise, this is where Pixverse is awesome. It's like 54 cents for 30 seconds, so about two bucks per minute. That's crazy cheap if you're making a lot of content. The video quality comes out smooth with a nice cinematic look, but it's not super detailed like the other tools in this video. You get 720p, so you'll need to upscale it if you want HD. Now a down point to Pixverse is that it only takes videos that are exactly 1920 by 1080. So if your video isn't that size, you either gotta resize it first or you can't use it. Also, you can only make 15 second clips at a time, which is quite good for short form stuff, but less convenient for long form. Now I do have to say the character stays consistent, which is important. I made a bunch of clips with the same person and they all look like the same person without any weird changes. Using it is easy. You log in and click on the speech thing, then upload your video and audio, hit create and check it out. After that, make sure to make it HD and download it without any watermarks. But here's the thing, Pixverse is great if you already have a video ready to, but it's not really set up to start from just a picture. They're really good at the lip sync part, but not so much at making videos from scratch. So if you have existing videos, then this is a good option. But if you need to make everything from scratch, you'll need a different tool. Now, if you want everything in one place, the next one might be for you. And this tool is Design AI, and I've created the following generations in their platform. I love playing basketball. It's my favorite sport. And I am also the best player in my school basketball team. By the way, which sport is your favorite? This restaurant has so many dishes. Can you help me to choose one? Just give me two minutes. I need to check some news articles about cryptocurrency. Do you always check the news on your watch during dinner? Only when the world insists on interrupting my meal. I can't believe crypto market is down by average of 20% today. You can immediately see the difference. While Pixverse was quite static, Design AI is much more human with the lip syncing and face expressions. The lip sync is honestly some of the best realistic stuff I've seen. And what's a major benefit about this tool is that it can do multi-character lip sync at the same time. I tested this with a conversation between two people and it handled the back and forth perfectly while keeping both characters looking consistent. Now, the only thing that you should consider is that design doesn't let you describe movements or gestures like turn head slightly or raise hand. This means your output is limited to facial motion only without full body or expressive animation control. The video quality starts at 720p, but you can upscale it in the tool to 1080, 4K or even 8K if you want. Just consider it does cost more credits, but the upscaling will make a big difference. Now you can make 30 second clips and in terms of character consistency, I made tons of clips over several days with the same character and it always looked the same. The process is pretty straightforward. You log in and go to Lip Sync Pro, upload your picture, pick the face and upload your audio. Now they have this timeline thing where you can control the timing really precisely, add a little gap at the start of your audio. This will work much better. Hit generate, upscale it and download. One thing you need to understand though is that if you want to use the pro version, which I recommend, it only works with pictures, not videos, but you can make your video from a picture and lip sync it all in the same place. It costs about three to four dollars per minute, which is still pretty cheap for the high quality that you get. 
But besides quality, one of the main upsides is that design is an all-in-one tool which saves you time and money. But let's talk about Dreamina OmniHuman, the third tool from this list. Here's what happened when I generated the lip syncing. I love playing basketball. It's my favorite sport. And I am also the best player in my school basketball team. By the way, which sport is your favorite? This restaurant has so many dishes. Can you help me to choose one? Just give me two minutes. I need to check some news articles about cryptocurrency. Do you always check the news on your watch during dinner? Only when the world insists on interrupting my meal. I can't believe crypto market is down by average of 20% today. The people have natural gestures and the mouth itself is pretty well lip synced. But you'll see some glitches and sometimes the facial expressions get too robotic in my opinion. It's not terrible, but it's not as smooth as some examples you'll see in this video. When I tried emotional dialogue, sometimes the face didn't match what was being said as well. I also think the video quality is decent, but it looks a bit too sharp and fake at 720p. If you pay for Pro, you can make it 1080p, but that's as far as it goes. The style and colors can also change between clips which can be annoying when you're trying to keep everything looking the same. Now, if you're wondering why it's still in the list, then this is because it's still one of the best options out there. If you only look at the mouth, then it's pretty clean lip synced and the body has some good natural gestures and movements. I'm giving my critics on the total package. It costs about three to four dollars per minute like design, but you're getting less consistent quality. Here's where it gets interesting though. You can make clips up to 12 minutes long. That's way longer than most tools, which is cool if you need longer content and can deal with the quality issues. And it'll show you that it's easy to use. Just log in and pick your AI avatar, upload your picture and audio, add a motion prompt if you want, generate and make it HD and download. Dreamina is interesting because it's not just about lip sync, it does the whole body. If you need characters that move around naturally in longer content, this could work. Let's check out the videos I generated with the fourth tool Higgs field. I love playing basketball. It's my favorite sport. And I am also the best player in my school basketball team. By the way, which sport is your favorite? This restaurant has so many dishes. Can you help me to choose one? Just give me two minutes. I need to check some news articles about cryptocurrency. Do you always check the news on your watch during dinner? Only when the world insists on interrupting my meal. I can't believe crypto market is down by average of 20% today. I will keep this one short because you can already see in the generations that the quality is not matching previous tools from this list. But Higgsfield has some interesting upsides. But yeah, the lip syncing of the mouth is okay with natural gestures, but there are some really obvious teeth and eye problems that look weird. The best results I got were with real humans. Other types of characters didn't really work well for me. Now the video quality is clear at 720p and you can still upscale it up to 4K, but you have to do that as a separate step every time. It also costs about $6 per minute, which is more expensive than the other tools shown. Although in this tool, you can make five minute clips, which is good for longer content. What you may not expect as well is that the character consistency is actually one of its better points. It keeps the same look across different clips. Now to use it, log in and hover over video, pick Lip Sync Studio, choose the Speak 2.0 model, upload your picture and audio, add an action prompt if you want, generate and download. Besides some interesting upsides, Higgsfield has some real problems that are hard to ignore for the lip syncing. I guess it's a great overall tool for other stuff. And it is still one of the best lip sync tools, but not my recommendation. Now, number five from this list is Hey Jen and these were the results I generated. This restaurant has so many dishes. Can you help me to choose one? Just give me two minutes. I need to check some news articles about cryptocurrency. Do you always check the news on your watch during dinner? Only when the world insists on interrupting my meal. I can't believe crypto market is down by average of 20% today. I love playing basketball. It's my favorite sport. And I am also the best player in my school basketball team. By the way, which sport is your favorite? The lip sync is actually pretty good on these videos. You can see how each word gets lip synced well and the tiny face expressions add natural little movements that make characters feel alive. I do have to say that sometimes it's almost a little bit too much where it still becomes unnatural. But the video quality is good as well, since it's the only tool here that gives you 1080p right away without having to upscale it yourself. It costs about $3 per minute with the creator plan at $29 per month, which sounds reasonable until you hit a problem, because you only get 10 minutes per month of good lip sync for that price. 
and that monthly limit is a problem if you make a lot of content. Now you can make five minute clips, which is good, but remember you can only make two full clips per month with that limit. Using it is straightforward. You log in, go to photo to video and upload your picture and audio, add a motion prompt if you want, pick quality model and 1080p, generate and download. So it's definitely one of the better tools out there, but you need to be able to manage the budget. Now I know you're thinking, Tim, what about Runway, LipDub or Kling AI? And you're right, there are other tools that were close to making this list. But after testing all of them over the past few months, here's what I found. Runway is potentially one of the best overall platforms, but it's way too complicated for regular people. You need serious technical skills and a lot of patience to get good results. The learning curve is big. Use this if you're a pro video editor or have a technical team, or if you don't mind spending weeks learning complex stuff. LibDub has amazing quality and aims for professional movie level, but it's made for that professional movie market, so it's way too expensive for normal creators. Kling AI isn't consistent enough with real people. You might get one great result, then three terrible ones, plus there's a 10 second limit which makes it pretty hard for some projects. Hetra only does 720p which feels too low these days when other tools do 1080 as standard. The quality difference is noticeable and it's hard to justify when better options cost about the same. Infinite Talk has potential but struggles with longer clips and has inconsistent face mapping that can make your characters look weird in the middle of talking. Lemon Slice is actually a pretty good option with solid results and a cheap price which makes it attractive if you're on a budget but sometimes you face stability problems that ruin your clips. It's hit or miss which makes it unreliable for important projects so after testing all the tools design ai is hands down the best option in my opinion if you're serious about making ai videos and want professional results without the headache it's the only real all-in-one platform where you can make your video from a picture and get top quality lip sync all in the same place so for me design is the clear winner it's what i use for my own stuff and it's what I tell other creators to use when they want professional results without problems. So I've put all the links to these platforms in the description so you can check out whichever one fits your needs and budget. Good luck making awesome lip sync videos and I'll see you in the next one.